to the zip, to the zip, to the zip, to the zip. Welcome to this week's podcast. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we will discuss the Pegasus Project investigation, which has revealed that 50,000 people around the world have been potentially spied upon by authoritarian governments. Then we will talk about the damage caused by extreme floods in Europe and finally get to a mystery illness emerging amongst US diplomatic staff in Vienna. So let's get started. Journalists, human rights activists, politicians and heads of state around the world have been revealed as targets of spying by a phone malware sold to authoritarian governments by an Israeli firm according to media reports. The so-called Pegasus Project investigation that was released on Monday was conducted by the Paris-based non-profit Forbidden Stories and human rights group Amnesty International. Reports by the Washington Post, The Guardian, Le Monde and 14 other media organizations around the world are based on a list of 50,000 mobile phone numbers believed to be targeted by the malware by the Israel-based NSO group. So far, a group of media organizations has identified more than 1,000 individuals who were allegedly selected for potential surveillance in 50 countries, most of them from Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Hungary, India, Kazakhstan, Mexico, Morocco, Rwanda, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Spokespeople for these countries denied using Pegasus or abusing their powers of surveillance. The NSO group also denies any wrongdoing, saying that the software is intended to be used against criminals and terrorists and is only available to military, law enforcement and intelligence agencies from countries with good human rights records. At least 184 people in Germany and Belgium are now known to have died in the recent extreme floods caused by heavy rains last week and thousands had their homes destroyed or severely damaged. The floods have also affected Switzerland, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. Now the heavy rains are shifting to southern Germany and parts of Austria. According to the fire brigade in Vienna, the Austrian capital saw more rainfall in an hour on Saturday night than in the previous seven weeks. German Chancellor Angela Merkel expressed shock at the destruction when she visited affected areas and pledged to fast-track aid for reconstruction. She said the world had to be faster in the battle against climate change. The US government is currently investigating a series of mysterious health incidents involving its diplomats and other administration staff in Vienna. More than 20 people have reported symptoms similar to the so-called Havana syndrome since January. The yet unexplained illness was first found in US and Canadian diplomats working in Havana in 2016. It includes symptoms such as dizziness, loss of balance, hearing loss and anxiety, and according to scientists, it is most probably caused by directed microwave radiation. The US accused Cuba of carrying out sonic attacks at the time, which it denied. In 2019, a medical study found brain abnormalities in the people affected by the illness. Other cases have been reported in different countries around the world, but now Vienna has more cases of the condition than any other city apart from Havana. Vienna is an important center for diplomatic activity and has been since the Cold War. The US has a large diplomatic presence in the city even today. The US State Department said it was vigorously investigating the incident. That's the end of this week's podcast. Join us again next week.